Hi, my name is Joel Panock. Uh, I'm out here on an important job site uh, doing a 3D laser scan of it and uh, using a P40 scan station. I had a severe mishap and uh, raised the tripod up without the scanner being attached to the tripod itself uh, using that uh, <coughs> bolt and uh, the scanner fell off and landed on the ground. Um, I had some serious damage. The handle for the scanner was completely destroyed, uh, as well as the uh, antenna. See the scuff marks on the uh, edges there. Pretty rugged. Some serious scuff marks on there. That's where I took the the most biggest hit, I believe. And then obviously our broken handle. Um, <clears throat> fortunately, after powering the scanner back up and uh, letting it reboot, it, it started up just fine. And then I uh, performed a 360 degree scan as well as uh, HDR photography. Uh, I also performed a high resolution scan of, of my subject truck. Uh, after contacting the Leica support team, uh, they instructed me to perform uh, two field tests to verify that the scanner hadn't been knocked out of uh, its calibration threshold. Uh, the first one was to uh, view the data uh, at the seam or the gap between the uh, zero degree and 360 degree uh, angles uh, to the edge of the scans and I zoomed in on the preview and, and viewed it and didn't uh, see any seam uh, after looking at the data on the laptop uh, so we could see all of the data I did not see any uh, seam or gap uh, for, the, for that angle uh, for that anywhere in between there so that, uh, that was the first field test second field test that they instructed me to do was a uh, two-face measurement of, the, of a target. Uh, the way I did that was I uh, selected a target and added it to the list, a black and white target, uh, and then spaced it or placed it beyond 50 feet from the scanner. And then I uh, selected it through the video screen and scanned it, or, or uh, added it. And then uh, instead of doing a, a measurement uh, option, I pressed the two-face measurement. And what happened is the scanner scanned it uh, regularly once and then uh, rotated 180 degrees and scanned it again uh, on the back face. So they had a front face and a back face scan of that black and white target. Uh, and after that was done, uh, the inf uh, there was an info button that I clicked on, which gave me the uh, delta of the, the two angles. Uh, and after verifying with like a that threshold that was within the uh, angular threshold that they uh, recommend so uh, the scanner after being dropped uh, a significant height uh, worked uh, for everything that i needed to do in all my forensic measurements